Hi guys, it's October here. I wanted to do a little video because I am not long back from town and it is absolutely freaking freezing outside and um, my good friend and sister Lisa aka Hoodoo Mama told me this morning or this afternoon really this afternoon about that they were doing um, a variation of the seven day candles in a local shop called Pine Stretchers. So I decided to investigate and lo and behold, they had them. So I have stocked up, but not over the top stock, talk, stocked up, that was easy for me to say. I've just stocked up with um, enough to probably do me tell, let me think. maybe just into January regards certain ones and I'll have to go back and get more depending on how I feel they are and how they burn and everything um so that's how I didn't go OTT because I don't know how they burn yet and didn't want to buy loads and loads and loads and then find out they were rubbish so um I have got these ones in front of you here these ones um, which are rose scented and I got them specifically for Morrigan and what I have decided to do is they have got the label on so I may leave the label on in some cases or I may not but in this instance I've decided to go with my first candle that I use um, and take the label off so I'll give you an idea what that looks like hang on a second let's get an organised here Right, as you can see, that's what it looks like with the label off. So, they're a reasonably decent size. Um, they're slimmer. The last 78 candles I bought from a witchy shop in the UK, and I can't remember what it was now, they were a bit wider. But considering the price, and considering it's impossible to normally get 70 candles, or, or candles resembling that type of candle, um, beggars can't be choosers. Anyway, so the, the point was um, that this candle's been, the label's been peeled off and it's been cleaned and um, the reason why I'm recording this now is because I'm going to be going ahead and I'm just going to do one at a time really because um, it takes ages to peel the labels off without them being all bitty and leaving the residue. So um, I've decided to share this part of the process with you because I am going to be going ahead and um, cleansing, magically cleansing these and, well, this particular one. And I am going to be anointing it with a few bits and pieces for more again as an offering. Some candles that I have got that are the same type of candle but they're different colours. I'm going to be using for different things, um, including one on my ancestor altar for a certain reason. And um, I have set up, which I haven't completely finished yet, um, a little space um, that I'm going to be calling my world workings sort of area. It's not really going to be an altar as such, but it's going to be a sort of a working space. And that is going to be in connection with what's going on in the world at the moment and just doing things on that every day. I'll be keeping that separate from my Morgan altar and separate from other things. Um, so this is for Morgan. So the roses ones are for her. I also got these ones which are black cherry. I'll show you in a second. And the label still on these, just as is from shop. So they're black cherry, so as you can see, they're kind of like a dark red, 
which I may or may not use for Morrigan's Altar. I'm not sure yet. I have to see. The roses ones, absolutely. Um, if these don't get used on Morgan's altar or offering space on their sacred fireplace, I've been using them for other things. So, meanwhile, I wanted to show you a couple of things, which is a top tip for... Um, this is the candle that I'm going to be using for Morgan, the first one. Now, I use these, here's the camera, to snip the wick back, so it is not humongous if I can get it to behave. Now, basically, I'll show you in a sec. So, as you can see, it snipped the wick back to the size of a one tip. Um, so what I wanted to share with you was um, basically kind of what they look like and uh, what I'm going to be doing with them. So basically what I'm going to be doing with this one is I'm going to be cleansing it. I'm going to be taking it outside and I'm going to be um, cleansing it with a particular incense and doing a little... Uh, blessing or a few words um, and then I am going to anoint it with a special Morgan oil as an offering candle and it is something that I will be burning on a daily basis for her. Um, I may be adorning it with charms and things I don't know yet uh, but this is basically the plan. So I'm going to show you my little setup here now. This is a table, it's like a, a fold up table and I've started using this in conjunction with my altar. Now I use my altar um, to do particular workings on um, but I have a lot of candles and bits and pieces going on it on at the moment on it. Um, so that means that I have got less space. Now I have a candle that I normally burn every day which is now finished which was my um, Cedarwood and Mar, I think it was, I can't remember now, a uh, candle, which is just a little candle. Now, I'll show you here what I mean by how I have it set up. I have it set up in front of Morgan's altar so that when I'm doing any, um, you know, blessings or um, I'm anointing things or I'm cleansing things apart from the incense bit that I do outside, um, I have this right in front of her altar, which works for me. Um, so basically this is how it looks, hang on, so this altar, this, that's our altar there, and the table is right here, and basically I will do everything I need to do with regards, that's my pot of pens that I use as a tripod, um, basically I will use this to do anything I need to do, and anoint my candles and do any bits and pieces I need to do. And I have my working candle over there, so I will either leave it there or I will pop it on there to um, do what I need to do. So, so I thought I would show you basically um, the little setup I have. So that this is the space I'm going to be doing my bits and pieces on. So. Um, that is what I'm going to be doing regarding Morrigan's uh, candles.